He's also brought more grass to line the bottom of the trench. Near the lake here, the sand is very damp. So if I'm going to lie here long, I'll need a layer of grass on top, too. Something to rest my head on, then Jeff starts to bury me. Only my hands should be free. Then all evidence of our digging must be smoothed over. Next, we'll need the bait. The pigeon has string tied to its leg. By letting the string in and out, I can lure the falcon. Now for the headset. And I become a clump of grass. My human bird trap is all ready for action. A final check. The peregrine hasn't changed position. Until Jeff's well out of the way, I don't want the bird to see the bait. When a pigeon flaps like this, a falcon thinks it's injured and an easy meal. Here she comes. Falcon tried scaring it into flight. He's only hitting the wing, but now the Falcon's sure he's wounded. starts to kill, the human trap is sprung. She still doesn't know what's holding her. When the clump of grass becomes a person, she realizes she's been caught and tries to escape. This is the most difficult part, trying to subdue a terrified bird. It must be done without harming her. She must be held gently, but firmly. Then the hood can go on. Hooded, she'll be less frightened. While securing it, the reason for her ineffective hunting becomes plain. There are no talons on one foot. No wonder she missed that duck earlier.